Hello everyone. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying the weekend. Welcome to snippet number three. So again, working with the same size card, four by six inches, and we're creating these little snippets and they're just snippets of ideas. So what I want you to do is go out in the garden, even if the leaves are wet, and grab yourself any size leaf. I'm using old paper, salvage patina, and salty ocean, which were the colours I used in the previous snippet to show you how things can look different. So I'm going to use old paper and I'm just going to rub that all over the leaf. So this is just a leaf out of the garden. I'm then going to use salvaged patina. My leaf is a bit, you know, it's, it's sort of crumpled and doesn't matter. And then I'm going to use salty ocean. So we've used Salty Ocean, Salvage Patina, maybe a bit more Salvage Patina, and Old Paper. You can use whatever colours you want, but hopefully you'll experiment with different colours. I'm then going to spritz that leaf with water. I'm going to have a piece of kitchen roll ready. I'm then going to place that leaf just down on my card and press it with my kitchen roll, just like so. So just press it with your kitchen roll. Now don't forget these are simple techniques, simple ideas that you can take further if you wish. So then you've got a leaf print. You can also make a second generation print with the same leaf. So if I bring in one I've done before because it's dry and when it dries it gets even more intense. Don't forget to press reasonably firmly to get a good print and don't forget to do a second generation print on a second piece of card. I'm then going to take my Elemental Notes and I'm going to use this stamp here. And I'm going to keep it in the same tones that I've got before. And I'm using it, I probably am going to use it on an acrylic block this time. I'm going to use this on the acrylic block. And I want the same sort of tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Verdant Versifying Claire. So I'm going to bring in Verdant Versifying Claire, exactly the same colour from yesterday, and Shady Lane. Versifying Claire, which gives some darkness. Let's go back, just add a little bit more of that lightness. And then what I'm going to do is just use my kitchen roll and just dab the edges of your stamp just so that you get a more random feel. I'm then going to add the stamping to the side of the leaf which means it looks like you've made your own little stamp, which is fun. Makes it look like you've actually created a stamp of your own. Don't worry if your background stamping isn't perfect. It's just like so. This permanent ink makes the distress oxide push down into the background, which is just what we want. What I want you to do then I'm using the Great Outdoors. You could use my container stamp. And I've stamped the Wellington boot. As you can see, I've stamped this Wellington boot on the right. And I've coloured that with Distress Oxide inks. So in the snippets, we haven't got time to colour. It's about snippets of ideas to give you ideas to use your stamps so they're not sitting there on the shelf. I'm then going to take my Versafine Claire Morning Mist, which is the grey. Just take that Morning Mist. I still like your designs to be cohesive, even if it's a snippet. And what I'm going to do is add some of that background stamping to my Wellington boot, because I want it to be cohesive with the background. And this is your Wellington boot. You're then going to just bend that a little because it is going to go here like so. 
so that you can add that. Now, if I adhere that with pin flare glue, what that will mean is that I've got some movement if I need to move things. I'm just going to add some black cotton just to that little bit of a, a Wellington boot, just so it diffuses everything a little bit. Let's have a look. You see, for me, that black cotton is too much of a distraction. So no, it's not happening. You have to be prepared to say no if something jars with your design. So I'm just going to add my Wellington boot just there. Squeeze your pin flare glue to the top so you get it just seals that and it stops you getting clogged. This is what we've got so far. So then what I want you to do is decide which floral you're going to use. I'm using my Cyclamen set, which is from the um, See You Soon. Let me see if I can just find that. Which is from your See You Soon stamp set, which is stamp set 898. So I've used the Cyclamen. So it's entirely up to you which you use. And what I'm going to do, because you're not going to see these, is I'm just going to split them up just so that it looks more of a bouquet. I can then just place this. I think I don't actually need more glue, but we'll we'll see. Let's just add a little bit of the pin flare glue just to the cyclamen. Just you see, because I've got that pin flare glue, I can add that just behind there. Just tilt that in. There we go. And then what I can do is just take this little bit of a cyclamen here, add a little bit of little bit of pin flare glue, and I can just tuck that just like so. Okay. Just squeeze your pin flare glue and then just grab a little bit of a pink Distress Oxide. Make sure that your brush is clean, which, which you should know by now, Tracy's is never clean. So just going to add a touch of picked raspberry to my cyclamen. Just add a little bit of that touched, touched picked raspberry <laughs> i'm making up names now obviously what you would do is you would color first and then cut out sometimes with the snippets i might do things in a little bit of a different order so we can fit that in in the 15 minute slot so just add also what i would recommend is just because you're doing a snippet doesn't mean it shouldn't be just as good quality. You know, you still need to make sure that it's good quality. So just, just going in and adding more layers of that. I don't want to add green to that leaf showing just because it just gives it a little bit more oomph with the white background. I'm then going to use Hickory Smoke Distress oxiding. Just going to wipe my brush, and then I'm going to add a little. That's still it's got pink in there. So just because you're just taking that 15 minutes, you still want to make sure that you've got a good quality project. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of shading, just under. my Wellington boot just so it's got that shading just under there you're then going to take your Posca pen which is a Posca paint pen and you're just going to add some splatters to your background and that is your snippet today done apart from you need to then just add little number three which I won't cut out so that we don't waste any time 
you're then going to add, she says, where's me growing up? You're then going to stamp your number three with your black ink. You don't need to cut that out because I shall show you how to place them in your journal. Okay, so you're going to stamp your number three and I'm using my little tags. I'm using stamp set garden mix tagged stamp set 899 and that is number three and let me show you how I then add them to my little journal. My Diane Reevely journal has arrived and just let me show you I will we will create a front cover when we've finished but these this is snippet one so I've added my tag one I added a little flower to that this one I've kept as is because I like it as is this is snippet number two and today's snippet is going to go here with number three labeled on it so i hope you enjoyed today's snippet love to all and i'll see you all soon bye for now